Welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer. Today we're reviewing the Austrian Audio PG16 gaming headset. Now, if you are subscribed to the channel, and if you're not, why aren't you? Make sure you subscribe. Um, but I reviewed the Austrian Audio PB17, and if you've watched that review, this is going to look quite similar in terms of looks, and indeed I'm pleased to say quite similar in terms of performance as well. But let's jump into the details. This costs £120, and for your money, you receive the rather good-looking headset. You get the uh, Austrian Audio carry case, sort of just a cloth bag. You get a 1.4 meter cable, because this is a wired headset. And you receive a little splitter cable as well for use on your gaming PC that might still have um, separate connections for mic and audio. And then you get your usual quick start guides. Oh, stickers as well. Very important. Quick start guide, a uh, little warranty card, and um, also a voucher for some software, which we'll go through on this review as well. So, so far, pretty standard, right? It's a standard wide headset. It looks like a standard wide headset, but there is a little bit more to it than that. So your £120, what's it getting you? Well, first off, it's getting you a really nicely constructed headset. I hate to repeat myself word for word, but this is one of the nicest built headsets and it is just like the PB17. So um, honestly, it's great. There's a metal headband that goes all the way around, which I think is really important to uh, you know give you some longevity on the device. The actual Ear cup swivels and ear cup connectors are also metal, um, so this entire red piece is metal. The plastics that they've used feel quite nice and high quality. Now, conversely to the PB17s, this actually has a gloss finish on the black and the red, which although looks really slick, is a bit of a fingerprint magnet and maybe feels slightly less premium. I actually like the textured matte plastic a little more, but you do get that textured matte plastic on the ear cups, which are really nice. Almost have like a soft touch to it. Talking about the ear cups, Wonderful, wonderful memory foam. These are comfortable for long periods of time. If you are gaming for a long time, these are a comfortable wear. And one of the things I also like is they've really done a good job of getting the um, amount of pressure right in terms of how it pushes in on your ears. So it pushes enough that the memory foam will compress slightly and create a nice seal. So you're going to reduce the background noise around you. But it doesn't feel like it's trying to uh, crack my head like a nutcracker. It's sort of a soft amount of um, of pressure, but you know the headset's not going anywhere if you're moving from side to side in a rather you know, let's say enthusiastic gaming session. So that's good. the The quality of materials is nice. The microphone boom can only be uh, used on the left-hand side. It will not go all the way over. Ironically, you could bend it, but that's not going to go particularly well for you. And if you want to mute it, it's just a case of swiveling the actual mount upwards so it's facing up towards your head, and then you're going to mute the microphone, pulling it back down, activates it. It has quite a nice wire, um, which allows you to move it into various positions. It will stay put, um, so you can have it in that sort of perfect position in front of your mouth, um, but not too close. So you know, you get too much uh, noise, so probably about here is where I'd have it. And this will ensure that you're going to be heard by all your fellow gamers, um, but also that it's, you know, not going to be in your face too much. It, it's good. This, this works well. Of course, the most important thing is going to be the sound quality of the microphone and the sound quality of the headphones. Let's talk about the microphone first. The microphone is very, very, very good. It is alongside the PB17, pretty much the best mic that I've had on a wired headset before. Crystal clear, almost gives you this sort of broadcast style sound. I really like it. Um, I'm gonna play you an audio clip now so you can make your own mind up, but personally, I think that the uh, actual mic on here is fab. This is an audio sample from the Austrian Audio PG16 gaming headset. This will give you a good idea of what the microphone's like and what you're likely to sound like to others if you're using this whilst gaming. So this is the audio sample from the Austrian Audio PG16. So hopefully, having now heard that, you'll agree with me, it sounds pretty great. The headphones, slightly different story, but not in a bad way. So these do not sound how I usually like to enjoy music or games. There's not as much deep bass as perhaps I'd usually be used to. Now, perhaps that's because the majority of gaming headsets have super deep bass, because they're sort of trying to shatter your head, which usually ends up meaning you're losing the, the, the actual crystal clear details and you're missing some of that nuance that you'd otherwise get because they've just you know gone for the big heavy explosion sound kind of thing. 
These are very different. So think very clean audio, think very constrained audio, but in a good way. If you're playing, you know, one of the, um, oh, I'm gonna give away my age now because I'm assuming they don't exist, but if you're playing like one of the Splinter Cell games and, you know, they'd use the audio to try and tip you off on someone, you know, being around the corner, you're gonna be able to pick it out on these because it's sort of that kind of precise sound. Whereas on some gaming headsets I've reviewed, it's just too big a sound that's just bass and nothing else and you can't make it out. So this is very nice. I particularly enjoyed using these whilst playing Gran Turismo 7 on my PS5. They just kind of made engine sound great. If you are playing a big shooter though, Call of Duty or whatever, yeah, you know what, fine. It's it's not gonna have as much, um, you know, the the guns aren't gonna sound quite as brutal and the explosions aren't gonna sound quite as expansive, but the sound stage is still very good. I'm not saying they have a small sound stage, I'm just saying they don't have as much bass as I'd like. But you can still really enjoy games. And if you're, if you're playing games, especially ones that are sort of slightly more musically inclined, you're probably gonna enjoy these even more because they just produce beautifully nice and clean audio. Of course, if you're gonna pay 120 pounds for a headset, you might just use it for other things other than, you know, gaming. And in this case, you're gonna do really well. I think that the looks of this, even with the red accents, it's not too gamery. You could quite happily use this on a business conference call and it sounds pretty much the same as the PB17s. So you're gonna sound great and everyone's gonna love the fact they can hear you so well. So that's a good thing. Then the actual headphones on here are so good that you can quite happily sit back and watch a movie or listen to some music. Same caveat supply about, you know, not as much bass, but at the end of the day, what do you want? Do you want music that's just bass or do you want to be able to hear the rest of the track? That's a really extreme example, but that's kind of where I'm going with this. That's how they feel. To me, they're very enjoyable. If I was gonna go and listen to something like Radiohead, I feel like these would probably really be really good at that. And I, I did do, I don't know what I'm saying, would probably be. Um, but when I listen to Nine Inch Nails, perhaps less so, because you know, Nine Inch Nails relies on bass a little bit more. So kind of a balance, depends on what you listen to and depends on what you do. But whatever happens, you are gonna get crystal clear audio both on the mic and from the headphones. They're not too heavy, so they're comfortable for long-term wear. They've been pretty well thought out. And the build quality is really very, very, very good. I would not be worried about throwing these in a bag. And in fact, they do actually fold flat. I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, so if you do wanna throw them in a the bag, they're not gonna take up too much space. You know, take this, chuck it in the cloth bag, that way the gloss uh, finishes doesn't get scratched. You're laughing, these are, these are easy to carry around. Um, in terms of weight as well, actually, uh, whilst we're here, they weigh about 265 grams. So as I said, they are pretty light. The only um, gripe I have, other than the um, headphone uh, sort of sound quality that we've already discussed, is the cable connection. Now, I am sorry to be a pain, but they're using a custom uh, connector into the headphones and I think that's a 2.5 mil jack. That's fine, but it does mean that if you want a longer cable than 1.4 meters, you are going to need to buy their three meter cable, uh, which I understand is available on the website. Um, it also means that you can't just find any old cable and plug it in. Bit annoying personally, but is what it is. Um, don't forget you can get 3.5 mil extension cables if you want, so you can just plug another extender on here, it won't impact the audio quality. So um, that's something to think about too. Generally speaking though, um, these are a very good experience. I did say I'd mention their um, spatial sound uh, software. It comes with this for free, right? Um, it's spatial sound software, you can store it on your computer and in theory it gives you virtual 3D sound, sound uh, sorry, 3D sound. Now, I'm not a huge fan of software driven sound alteration and in this case, I didn't enjoy it. You might like it um, and it's nice it's included for free. Personally, I'd rather have had a couple of quid off the price, I think, that's probably would have been better. Um, but yeah, it's, it's included and you should try it out, see if you do like it. Personally, it's not for me. Um, but yeah, just saying that there's been thrown in as a value add. And last but not least, if you think, oh, I really like those, but I don't like the red, I'd check out the PB17 headset because these are extremely similar and it's a different look. You get this sort of nice matte gray, and black and yeah, 
I think you get very, 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 very similar performance. So if you prefer them in black, check out the PB-17s, and I have a review of it, which is linked above, um, which is very similar to this one. Uh, but the PG-16s have this nice sort of red and black colour scheme, which is really nice. Um, but overall, really enjoyed them. These are really, this is a really good headset for gamers. So yeah, there you have it, Austrian Audio, a uh, company I've now tried two products from, both of them very good, um, both of them very similar, uh, but a company that clearly is making some pretty awesome products. So uh, check them out and check out these as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the either of these headsets, um, pop them in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as it really helps me out. Thank you very much for watching, and I do hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.